Natalie, uh, you and Patricia, along with your entire NEPRA staff, as well as the crews on board the Downeaster, must be extremely proud of what happened in the last fiscal year. Can you give us the details? So we just recently got our fiscal year end numbers and came in at 598 plus thousand um, riders for the year. It was about 47,000 riders better than our best fiscal year ever. And, you know, we're really pleased with the ridership. There were a few uh, kerfuffles along the way. We really would have hit 600,000. Um, and we're just really pleased with, with the service, with the crews, and with the entire team. It's definitely a team effort. A lot of stuff goes into making trains operate um, smoothly, efficiently, and getting people where they need to be. Um, it's, it's a grind every day. It's a lot of hard work. Um, but we're so pleased that people are coming out and riding the Down Easter. I know that uh, 600,000 had been a, a goal before the uh, pandemic, and you're uh, very close to having achieved that this time around. Absolutely. 600,000 passengers has been a goal for a long time here at NEPRA. Um, you know, we work really hard to cultivate different ridership markets. You know, we benefit from people commuting daily into Boston for work. We've seen those patterns change since the pandemic. We have people that used to go five days a week that are only traveling two days a week. But we also have people that have more flexibility to travel at different points throughout the day. So, you know, really what we're seeing is all 10 of our trains are performing better than they did before. Um, and so gaining 40 riders here, 20 riders there, 100 riders here really makes a difference over the course of the fiscal year. Um, so 598,000, we're so pleased with where it's turned out. Tell me what the factors are that have actually allowed you to reach close to that ultimate goal. But I think that what makes us super successful is that we provide transportation options to a variety of different markets. We have people that need to go for medical appointments. We have school groups. Um, we work really hard to cultivate all kinds of different riders that can use our service year round and all throughout the course of a day. Let's talk about North Station. I mean, that's a magnet. North Station is a huge demand factor for us. The investment that's happened there has really made it a destination in and of itself. Um, you know, 10 years ago, we remember there was a few benches that you could sit on. Now <laughs> you can get mixed pastries. You can grocery shop. You can, you know, walk upstairs and see world-class events. Um, you know, we're seeing the TD Garden bring in a lot of concerts in their shoulder season when the Bruins and Celtics aren't playing. All of those things have really helped create demand um, in our, there's no better way to get there than on our train. Tell me about how revenue has grown because of ridership. Um, revenue has grown tremendously. This year was our best year ever, 13 million plus in revenue. Um, it was about 2.6 million more than we had ever done before. Um, and there's a number of things that go into that. Again, commuters buying less discounted multi-ride passes and more one-way tickets. And also our board of directors had implemented a fair increase at the start of the fiscal year as well. Um, Amtrak has changed some of their national policies. Um, they've retooled some of their fair offerings. And the Down Easter has also expanded some of our discounts. We've made it so that our 50% senior discount is automatically programmed and everybody that chooses senior passenger type gets a dis discount. So we're really pleased. We think that our our service is still affordable for people. Um, you can find a discount if you try hard. Um, and so we really just are at a very sweet spot as far as revenue goes. How are you doing on uh, on-time performance? Our on-time performance over the last fiscal year was about 80% per customer. Um, so we always prioritize reliability and know that we need to continue to improve. We do have a number of projects slated with CSX Rail um, for maintenance projects to help eliminate slow orders, to help increase capacity. And so that is always a part of the mix for, you know, out there doing brush cutting whenever possible. There's there's a lot of work that's going on on the railroad at any given time, any given day that people don't see or necessarily hear about. Um, but it's a constant effort to kind of minimize those impacts to our delays. And it's definitely a priority for our team here in Epra. 
So if you were to have a final comment, what would it be? You know, I think this is such a good news story. Uh, more people are out riding the train. That means more people are out visiting our station communities, spending money here um, and doing all of the things that we kind of hope hope that people will do. Um, you know, this is very much a team effort. We have to give great thanks to Amtrak and the frontline staff that are handling more people and keeping them happy. Their customer service scores continue to be in the high 90s. People are um, very pleased and satisfied with their experience overall. You know, we have a great food service vendor who has invested in, you know, staff training and new products and, um, you know, had over a million dollars worth of sales last year. It's really a team effort. We have volunteers working at stations to welcome people and make sure that they have the information that they need to make their trip successful. Um, this doesn't happen by accident. It's a lot of hard work by a lot of hard people. And we're just so grateful for everybody that helps make this a reality. Thank you for your time. Thank you.